What is up everybody? This is Easy Easy Street Gaming. This is another Brutal Age video, Surviving Server Wars or Barbarian War. This is a tough video for me to do, but we'll get right into it. I've got a few tips to start off with. The first way to survive server war, barbarian war, is if you're not going to attack, don't try to hide, bubble up. Bubble up means go get a shield. Now, my expert at editing edited up the top, which is where the shield is. <laughs> I suck with this. But you can go and buy a shield with your clan coins. If you're in a clan, which most of you guys are, you can go in you, you're you're earning clan coins every time you make every time you assist your clan mates. You also get coins when you fish and you get crappy fish and you, you, you exchange them. Um, so go go and get a shield. Go get four shields, turn all four of them at one time. If you are gonna attack, one of the things you can do is while you're not attacking you can hide your troops. You can do an eight-hour rally. I know we just kind of fl flew through it. Um, message me if you don't know how to do it down below in the message center. Busy message center that we have. <laughs> uh, so you can do an eight-hour rally, and then you have eight hours plus however long it takes to march there before you ha you you're ready to attack. Uh, number three, reinforce shielded players. Also, don't forget to check on y your warehouse. And see if there's anything in the red. See if you're gonna, if uh, you're not protecting any resources. And if you have to give away two or three million resources, do it, because you can give it to your clan. Now look at that. Every time it's server war, there seems to be all these all these great monsters all around me. That sucks. Uh, so so it's better to give your clanmates the resources than to have someone from another server come in and clip you for them. Even if you don't lose any power because all your troops are hidden. So hide your troops with a, with a shield player, and give a shield player all the resources number four we got everything we got numbers all over the place we have countdowns numbers if you are going to attack you really have to think about one something that everyone let's back up something that everyone loves to do that everyone loves rally attacks so before you do a rally attack remember that it alerts the whole entire other clan and you may run into a severely heavily reinforced player so leave the leave the rally attacks to the most experienced players. If you happen to have some big players, 100 million players, and they're going to lead the rally, then jump in on them. But don't be the one to lead rallies against other clans because you might get way overpowered by it. So be careful of the rally attack. So let's break into this. Scoring points with a shield up. There's going to be a lot of words going across the screen. It, I don't know why I did that. I just did. <laughs> anyway, you'll start off with an unshielded outpost. You have to have anti-scout on. That way no one can see your troops, your reinforcements. It's very important. You have to have anti-scout on if you're going to be the one without the shield. Now in this in this situation, you may be the one with the shield next to the unshielded one. So depending on what player you are, you might be the one with the shield. You might be the one without. So you have one player without the shield. This is, I'm just going to say this is me. I, I'm easy as the one in the middle. I don't have a shield. I have my clan mates around me. You want to have two or three clan mates very close by. 10 or 15 second march close by with shields. And it's very important that they have the shields. That way you can shuffle troops back and forth. They can send you reinforcements. It's very important that you have two or three troop, uh, players with shields. And this is not in the hive either. This has to be away from the hive. The hive is going to be used in this example. But th these are not. Th these This combination is not in the hive. Now you'll notice that many experienced players will immediately stay away from you. They may even scout you. But they, they don't see what you have in your base. And they have other players around you. And especially if you have a player with... Uh, you know 30 or 40 million next to you they may have t5 in so they may be reinforcing you so experienced players may not attack you at all which that's a good thing you're not going to get attacked by experienced players if they do scout you and you know they're watching you as soon as they scout you you want the players around you to each to, to send you one of each troop it will look like a full march they won't be able to tell how many troops you have coming to you so it looks like you just got reinforced by everyone around you. So that sets up some doubt in their mind and it sets you in a good position. Next, you want to send one of those bases that have the shield, all of the sh all of the soldiers that you have that are over your hospital. So if you have 100,000 hospital capacity and you have 200,000 troops, send 100,000 into one of those shielded bases right away. Now this is this this is the part that it gets really good. If you want them to, if they want. If you want them to attack you while you have full reinforcements, you have to bait them. Unless they're just dumb. 
But what we're gonna do is now this is a good example. Check out where I am here. That's me in the middle of three of my guys. Here's the here's a picture of the hive right there. Now notice that my example is not in the hive. Okay, just to reiterate reiterate that. Okay, let's get into a, a, a pretty basic bait maneuver and just check out my little shield that I made. <laughs> I'm sad. Okay, in this example, we kind of went over already, but we're going to go over a little more. Um, Easy is unshielded, has three clan mates around him. I have 10 million power, 200,000 T3 troops. I have anti scout on. I have 10, 100,000 hospital capacity. That's what I've got. Then. A player from the other server ports in so as soon as he ports in we know it's on and so we have to start taking action immediately you have to be able to move really fast in war but even more importantly than moving fast you have to have a plan already in place so that means you have to have your players that are next to you ready and the players in the hive ready so first thing send a hundred thousand to one of the members that are right next to you with the shield because remember that's what's over the hospital capacity and then have the visible players send you reinforcements it, it can be one of each troop or a thousand of each troop but that doesn't really matter it's not a lot because they're all gonna die maybe if the enemy scouts scout them right back so after he scouts if he sends troops you have two things that could happen they could send a full march or they could send just a few troops so quickly look at how many troops they're sending because you have anti-scout on they may only send a couple hundred troops to see what you're hiding when, when they attack with a couple hundred they'll get a full uh, full readout of what you have in the base if they send a full march to you talk to everyone in the hive everyone has to get ready because you're about to go into act as the enemy troops are moving towards your base make sure you talk to everyone in, in the hive everyone in the clan have them get ready to reinforce you and if the three bases that were next to you or however many that were next to you that had the shields up if they sent small troops to you to begin with they can't reinforce you again anyway but if they didn't by any chance don't let them reinforce you you don't want them to see those bases send you any troops make sure everyone that's in the hive that's going to reinforce you make sure they're close enough to be effective so they all know how far away they are from you so if the march is coming at you a minute away they're 30 seconds away you want to make sure those troops show up a few seconds before his troops arrived because they may scout us several times you don't want a bunch of troops in there so really the key to the reinforcement is to have the reinforcements arrive just moments before the attack arrives now if the the bases that were shielded uh, that were around you did reinforce you with those small number of troops just to give the illusion that you were reinforced have them bail out and have them pull their troops out as he's marching towards you that will give that will give the attacker the impression that he's uh, that everyone's running scared and that he's already got the attack won Server Wars and Barbarian Wars are super fast paced games. So if you don't get scouted and they just port next to you and they attack right out and they send troops to you right away, don't hesitate. Send your troops away immediately. Empty your base out. Send them to the nearest shielded player. Send them to resources. Remember, you want to control all of the options, the variables. You don't want to fight their fight. You want them to fight under your conditions. You don't want to fight under their conditions. And remember, they may know where your other outposts are so if they port next to you and then they begin a rally attack and you see this right here and you see all the lines coming to them because they have other troops coming to them from their clan and you think oh good they have a rally now i'm going to be able to, to reinforce and i'm going to it's going to be great well they may be baiting you and you may be watching them around outpost one and they may already know where outpost two is and while you're waiting on the rally to show up they attack outpost two and they snipe you from behind Here's some great stats from the last server war. Merciful had 300 million power, but we all reinforced Shadow Gypsy, so Merciful attacks Shadow. Shadow has almost 500,000 troops because we had him reinforced. Merciful ends up taking a $5 million hit. $5 million hit. I'm sad. So we're about out of time. About a 10 minute video, which is a little longer than normal. So we'll do a little recap. Best way to stay safe is to use your eight hour peace shield. Use three of them. For the 24 hours make sure you don't use one and then die eight hours later <laughs> no shield how do you stay safe can you stay safe you can send your troops and resources to a shielded player now to get points during server war and still stay safe you can reinforce unshielded players 
And once you have the experience, allow the shielded players to reinforce you as you set the trap. So if you aren't used to it quite yet, you're the one that sends the reinforcements to the shielded player. Once you have more experience, you'll be the one actually doing the fighting while they reinforce you. This trap that I set up as an example is one of many. The best way to make it work is to talk to your clan, to set up some kind of plan. It usually will involve reinforcing the, the, the fighting players and the, re, the guys reinforcing have the shield. So it's a common thing. All the, all the less experienced guys have the shield. The more experienced guys do all the fighting and they get reinforced. If you find a better way to do it, leave, leave me a message uh, in the comment section. I'll gladly listen to whatever you guys have to say. Hope you enjoyed the video. You might have to watch it one or two times. I had to record like 10 times to get it right. So <laughs> appreciate everyone for watching. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.